again, the joys of owning these grooves suck. I hate grooves in the interstate. They got you going all over the place. Anyway, the joys of owning an older truck. My carrier bearing's bad. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm, uh, be coming into Sparks, Nevada here in a minute. Freightliner has a carrier bearing, four carrier bearings in stock, so I got them to pull me one. And then, I was gonna do it myself in the parking lot, but I'm afraid I might run into an issue that being stuffed in there and I can't get it out. And there's no telling how old that carrier bearing is. And I was talking to my buddy, uh, Sean, uh, Trucker Style Sean on YouTube. And uh, he said, you're probably gonna need a cutoff wheel or a uh, cutoff torch to heat it up and get it out. And I don't have either of them. So I found a guy in Fernley he said, yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, he, he, he said, where are you at? I was like, well, I could be anywhere you want me to be. He's like, all right, just uh, pull into the Flying J in Fernley, Nevada, and I'll get it swapped out for you real quick. So, we'll see, uh, see how hard it is. I might, uh, might be kicking myself in the butt when he ends up taking it apart and just popping it right out but it is what it is so, like I said it's you know older truck things are going to go bad this time it's a carrier bearing I started feeling uh, a couple hundred miles ago I started feeling uh, kind of like a, a just not about I guess it's a vibration but it's a it's a weird vibration it's it's I'm sitting in the cab, it's just like a bump, 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 bump. When you get onto the acceleration, uh, the, the gas pedal, and it'll, it'll do it for a little bit, and it'll kind of go away. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, okay, is this the road? Or, or is it the drive line? I know it's not anything on the front end, because I have no shake in the steering wheel or anything. But, it's just been progressively getting worse. So I, I pulled over, crawled up underneath, checked the U-joints, checked the carrier bearing, and there's anywhere from a quarter inch to a half inch of play in that drive shaft, up, down, left, right, all around. So, need a new one. So that's what we're doing now. This might uh, eat into my time a little bit as far as getting to that first drop. Uh, the plan was to be at that first drop. That way I could get unloaded first thing in the morning. I might, if, I, if I'm doing it at the Flying J, I should be, it's only 322 here now. I should be able to uh, go ahead and log off duty, let him do the repair. And then get up early, early in the morning and be there at six o'clock. The guy said they normally get there at seven, but he he said he'd try to get there at six in the morning to open the gate. That way I can get that first little trailer unloaded. So that's what we're doing. Call it y'all shortly. Oh
putting it in. Say that one more time. Say what? that one more time. What, you can borrow a tool next time? Yeah. Next time? yeah. next time I'm in the area and I need something, borrow a tool. Yep. So, if y'all are in Fernley, Nevada, and y'all need some help, give uh, Brandon, right? Yes, sir. Give Brandon a call. He is with uh, Class, eight. Class 8 Mobile Repair. Uh, did good work it was fast and he's fair on his rates uh, 125 call out fee and 100 an hour I don't know many other places where you're gonna get it that cheap so like I said appreciate it yep anytime man if y'all need anything give him a call man prayers to him He's, uh, he's okay. I went and checked on him. He's sitting in a bad spot, though. Uh, just as you go over the crest on Donner's Pass. And... I, like, you can't see him until it, you get up on him. So, I'm sitting here. It'll probably make me a few minutes late, but... sit here until someone else comes here with my flashers on because I have them uh, strobes on the back to give him I don't know so, something I, I don't know man I, I don't know I don't know what happened I didn't see it when I crest over yeah I had to slow it down real quick threw my flashers on, ran up and checked on him. Uh, he said he's fine. Man, he hit that. Luckily, he didn't go over. I don't know if y'all can see, but the uh, guardrail right right here, it's all gone. And it's folded back right in front of his truck. Bad deal. Anyway. Y'all be careful. It's, yeah. Take it easy. Going fast ain't, ain't worth it. I don't know that that's what he was doing, but slow down, take your time. Especially, especially on the mountain pass, in the rain, fog. 